Hi, welcome to my channel where I discuss everything I love about my favorite books. Today is the day that I finally cave to the age-old booktube custom of making TBRs. I am I never plan my reading, or rather, when I try to, I don't stick to it. <laughs> but I have this time decided in January to participate in enough read-alongs at least just by reading along or in some cases signing up for discussion uh, of the books that I plan to read on the page chewing forum um, that I have something of a schedule that I have planned for myself and I think the fact that there are potential upcoming discussions and the possibility of an active conversation that I can actually participate in as opposed to you know being a consumer of live streams and uh, discussions I think that will be a bigger motivator for me to stick with the read-alongs that I want to participate in so I'm hoping that I will stick to this plan so yeah, <laughs> here's January Varsha saying <laughs> that she wants to read these books. Now I may or may not stick to the plan, like if, you know, uh, work stays just about as busy as it is right now, I think I'm on track to finish the books that I have scheduled or to read most of them anyway. But if it does not, you know, things will change, whatever, but you know, we'll, we'll be optimistic, right? <laughs> So, um, all right, let's let's get started with this list. Um, I should mention that um, a lot of these <laughs> books ha are decided based on a series that I started in January because uh, over November and December, I managed to finish a bunch of series that I had open. So I felt comfortable starting new series. So a lot of these are informed by the series I started in Jan and the series I started were in turn informed by the read-alongs that have been announced since last year or the beginning of this year. So yeah, let's go. <laughs> so starting with the Game of Thrones, I think I mentioned this in another video as well. I have never read the series before. I haven't watched the TV show either. This is my first experience of this world. Um, sorry, I. The, a Song of Ice and Fire is the series that I meant to say. Um, so there is, <coughs> there are um, two read-alongs for this series that I'm aware of. One is um, run by Joanna and a group of other booktubers, including I think Jolene Reads and uh, yeah, a bunch of <laughs> a bunch of booktubers are running that one. And then uh, there's a second one also happening <laughs> at a similar cadence, I think, similar time timeline for the series. And that one is being hosted by uh, Steve Talks Books and over at the Page Chewing Forum, which I'll link below if you aren't on that forum. It's a lot of fun. I joined recently and I've been really enjoying the conversations and discussions there. I'm really grateful for that forum for all the discussion that it affords and um yeah so the second one is over on that channel sorry over on that forum and um the nice thing about this uh, read along is that uh it's an rsvp based system for the live stream discussions so if i manage to finish uh, a book in time for the discussion i can go sign up for the conversation i tried to sign up for the discussion for a Game of Thrones in January but I was sick and I couldn't finish the book on time so I'm still working my way through it honestly I'm about 75% of the way through really enjoying it um, the next one we're going to be reading of course is A Clash of Kings the discussion for that is scheduled at the end of February so I'm hoping to finish it in time to be able to participate in the discussion at least in the chat if not on the live stream um, so that's that <laughs> The next one is the Cicero Trilogy, uh, the first of which is Imperium. I started this on a whim. Uh, so <laughs> Alan from the Library of Alexandria um, <laughs> is hosting four read-alongs this year. But the first one 
is the Cicero Trilogy starting with Imperium this month. I believe it's going to be one book a month. Um, I needed a book to read like whenever I put a Game of Thrones down, like whenever I uh, hit stopping points and I wanted to read something else. I wanted a second book to read and I kind of picked this up on a whim because ancient courtroom drama sounds pretty cool. So I picked this up and I think I'm going to finish the rest of the series and, you know, hopefully finish them in time to catch some of the live stream discussions if I can manage it. Um, there, yeah, I'm also super interested in the rest of the series that um, Alan's hosting read alongs for, but, you know, we'll take it a quarter at a time. <laughs> um, yeah, by the way, I don't think I mentioned this earlier, but all of these are books that I plan to read by the end of March. <laughs> um, the next set of books is uh, Central Station and Neom by Lavi Tidar. I recently discovered Lavi Tidar uh, because Raf mentioned uh, and talked about Neom uh, on his channel, uh, Raf Blue Text, and um, yeah, I, I'm intrigued. I already read Martian Sands, which is the first book in the Central Station world and um, I, I loved it. I loved that book so much. It made me think so hard about the, so many things. And I'm about halfway through Central Station and I'm really enjoying it too. So it um, it is almost like a short story collection that's stitched together into a novel. Um, so the last two pages of the book, I when I just randomly went there for some reason, I saw separate copyrights for each of the chapters in the book. So I think each of these was published as a short story in maybe with some changes in the past. And yeah, and they've been stitched together into, the no into a novel. I'm really enjoying the ideas and themes there. There is no overarching story yet that I can discern, but you know, I'll probably figure it out, but I'm halfway through really enjoying it. And I'm looking forward to picking up Neom next. Uh, next one I want to mention is Perdido Street Station, which um, Angela from Do Unicorns Read is ho going to be hosting a read along for. Um, there's no timeline or anything announced for this yet, so you know I'll read whenever uh, the read along starts on Angela's channel. Um, yeah, and I, I don't think we are going to be able to finish the whole book before March. I think the plan is to start somewhere towards the end of the quarter. So if that happens, we'll probably go into April reading this book. And then, of course, on March 21st, we all know what's happening. Uh, I'm going to pick up uh, The Way of Idan by Dr. Philip Chase. So that one is getting read in March for sure, or as much of it as I can manage in nine days. I don't read very fast. Another book that is also coming out on March 21st is this book called Beowulf. Uh, I don't know, I think maybe that's how it's supposed to be pronounced. It's spelled B E A W O L F, like wolf, right? Uh, and, or Beowulf probably. But um, so there is this webcomic that I follow, have been following for years now, uh, called Saturday Morning Breakfast Serial. The author of that webcomic is, um, has adapted the story of Beowulf into this graphic novel. It sounds fantastic. Saturday Morning Breakfast Serial is easily one of my favorite things to read online. It's absolutely brilliant, asks a lot of tough questions, explores a lot of like philosophical and existential <laughs> issues, all in hilarious webcomic form. I love it so much and so I'm, I'm going to be getting a copy of this book which is coming out on March 21st. There, that feels like a sign <laughs> that it's coming out that an adaptation of Beowulf is coming out on the same day as The Way of a Dan. <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, my plan for this is to try and read Beowulf in some form even if it's just a short summary before I read this book so I can appreciate the parallels and adaptation aspects of it. So um, I am going to do that. So I don't, I don't know if I will have time to do all of that by the end of March, but it is something that <coughs> I intend to do in the near future for sure. Um, I've also got Berserk planned starting in February. 
So uh, this again <laughs> on the page chewing forum, uh, we're reading Berserk together. We're, I believe, planning to do one manga volume a week. So like, if you've got the collector's edition, that's about three weeks to get through one um, of those editions. We're starting the first week of February and I, I we're going to play it by year. I think we're probably going to do one volume a week uh, for at least the first book and then we'll see if we need to change cadence and figure that stuff out. Um, yeah, Steve, again, is hosting that read along and this is a manga that I've been wanting to read for a long time but I have felt intimidated by all the claims of how dark it is um so it will be nice <laughs> to have a group to discuss this with so i'm really excited for that um what else uh, i also have children of gods and fighting men scheduled this again <laughs> is because there is a scheduled discussion on the page chewing forum i believe it's sometime in the mid of february um, this is again, uh, this was released last year, I think, and I think the second book is coming out next year, no, uh, later this year, and um, yeah, I've been wanting to get to it, I've been hearing great things about it, so it's, I am thinking of using the opportunity of the upcoming discussion to schedule it and like plan, <laughs> plan books that I probably wouldn't get to otherwise for, you know, months or years at a time. So that's the plan for that one. And once more <laughs> on the page chewing forum uh, there is going to be a read along for the wars of light and shadow series by Jani Wirtz. the first book discussion is scheduled for april 15th i think and um Jani Wirtz is on the page chewing forum and i believe she might also participate in the live stream conversations and things like that i'm, I'm not sure about that part but she's on the forum and you know interacting with everyone and answering questions about the book and things like that. So I'm really eager and excited for this because I think the discussions are going to be awesome. So this one, uh, if I had to pick one, like if I had no time to read anything else and just one book that I'm going to read for the rest of this quarter, it's probably going to be this one. Um, just because you know I'm really eager for the upcoming discussion for this. I did read about half of this book last year but then um i had to stop like I, I, I had put it on hold because um i did not have time to read for a period last year it became a big enough gap that i probably need to start over so that's what i'm going to do i'm probably gonna be reading this through most of march maybe i'll even try to start as early as late feb to try and finish by april 15th because it took me I read slow and the text is a bit difficult uh, for me to get through so I'm just gonna you know spread it out over a long period of time so I can give myself enough time to uh, finish the book for the discussion and then I've got two more books I think these one are just like tentative if I can get to it I'll get to it it's um, one is odd magic and the other is the bell at Seely head by Patricia McKillop I read The Forgotten Beast of Eld last year, really enjoyed it and I want to read more books by Patricia McKillop and I think, um, was it, I think it was Jani Woods, she mentioned that these two are her favourite Patricia McKillop books, so I want to start here and see what else I want to read by her, but yes, I want to chip away <laughs> at uh, her uh, body of work. Um, she's published a lot of standalones, most of her books are standalones, I think there's just one trilogy that I'm aware of, it's called The Riddle Master or something like that. Um, so yeah, it should be fairly easy to get through these, so yeah, I'm going to be, I'm going to try to read this. What else? Um, I do have um, Told the Hounds still ongoing. I started it in July last year, again, like uh, The Curse of the Mistrip. I had to pause it because I just wasn't reading for a period uh, last year because of like starting a new job and other stuff that came with it. So um, I will pick it up again sometime in the next couple of months. I do want to finish that book. I was enjoying it. In fact, I put it down in the middle of this really intense <laughs> sequence and 
you know, I, I'm dying to know what happens next. I just haven't found the energy yet to pick it up. Um, I will soon. Um, the next two books in the Malazan Book of the Fallen, though, I will probably read um, sometime in May or so. And what else? Yeah, um, I the audiobooks that I have planned for the next two months is going to be The City We Became, which I'm halfway through. Uh, it is a reread for me on audio. I may or may not finish the book because I was rereading it because I'd forgotten a lot of the details uh, in order to be able to read the second book. But I feel like I remember enough now that I can just pick up the second book. So I'll, I'll decide what to do with that one. Um, if I do manage to finish both the books from the Great Cities duology, I will um, read and probably listen to Equal Rights and more Disqual books if I can manage it. I may also start the next Dresden Files book. I forget which one it is. Small favor? Probably. I don't remember. But yeah, I might do that, but I'm not sure. I haven't been in the mood to pick up a Dresden Files book for a while. Eh, I'll pick it up. <laughs> I, I will be in the mood soon enough, so I'll pick it up when I am. I haven't been listening to a lot of audiobooks lately, so I'll probably only be able to get through one or two um, over the next couple of months. And finally, uh, finally, this is sort of a stretch goal, if you will. I um, So Raf Blue Text has been reading his way through the Funavar Tapestry um, towards a larger goal to read all of Guy Gabriel Kay's books in publication order. Um, I really I really love that idea of a project. I'm trying to figure out an author that I would like to do that for. I'm considering Adrian Tchaikovsky, but the problem is <laughs> reading his books in publication order means I have to start with, um, what is that series called? Shadows of the Apt. Yeah, and that's a 10 book series. I've got Malazan to finish and I'm probably going to start, no, I am definitely starting The Wars of Light and Shadow. So, I do not think I want to start a 10 book series, but I'll, I'll figure that out. It's definitely not happening before March, but maybe sometime soon after that. Uh, Adrian Tchaikovsky is on the shortlist for that and maybe Cormac McCarthy. We'll see. But also uh, what I want to do is um, I want to read the Funavar Tapestry because Guy Gabriel K is an author that I am very interested in uh, checking out uh, because Raf said that he's planning to make some videos for the Fionnoir Tapestry because he's already read them um, and they sound really interesting and I would like to have read the books when I watch them so I'm gonna try to sneak this trilogy in if I can before the end of March so that I can watch his videos. Um, yeah, I don't mind spoilers for the most part, but I think sometimes I want to have read a book when I watch a review. So, so that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's everything that I have planned until the end of March. Uh, do you have any reading plans? Do you make elaborate TBRs? Uh, let me know. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.